Alright, I'm going to show you how to set up Stretchy Bones. So let's go Create, Systems, Bones, and let's go to our front viewport and create a bone. And it's really small. Uh, we can't really see it, so let's go Animation, Bone Tools. And under the Bone Object Properties, let's change the width and the height to 3. And you'll see the nub bone looks kind of funny. I usually just delete it. Um, select the other bone, create end. And let's select both of our bones. Actually, let's just select this one. And select front fin. I'm going to show you later um, rotations. There is some flipping that goes on uh, during rotation when you're rotating your when the bone is rotating and I'm gonna show you how to work around that so select okay select both our bones select reset stretch um, this is just I just use this for whenever I make a new bone um, it resets the stretch if it's been squashed before and you want to reset it to its default pose um, I just do it as a measure of default for so reset stretch and set our stretch property to squash alright so we have our stretchy bone but we need we can't control it we need to make a control object so go to your top viewport go create shapes circle and let's make a circle now you can use point helpers you can use dummies you can use geometry I just use spline circles because a lot of tutorials that I've read use them and um, you can filter by selection. You can select only splines if you want. So um, you might see a white line. If you select enable in viewport, you'll be able to see it. You can turn down the sides if you want a more efficient control object. And uh, interpolation, um, I just set that to 2. And let's make a couple copies of this. So I'm going to do whoops, whoa, one on that axis and one on this one. And select the first one that we had made. Right click, convert to editable spline. And let's attach the other two. Okay, so we got our control object. Let's make a copy. Um, I just have an extra copy just in case. And now we're going to align it to the bone. So the shortcut for that is Alt A. And you'll see it brings up this two squares and a line thing. That's our align tool. And select the nub bone. You can also find the align tool. Uh, make a copy. You can also find the align tool up top here. Um, under align, select that. And select the main bone. And one thing to note, you want to align it by position and orientation. And make sure you have pivot points selected. Click OK. So now they share, um, if you go change it to local, they share the same local position and rotation. Alright, so select our bone that's going to be stretching. Let's go up to Animation Constraints, Look at Constraint, and we want to look at the, con the top control object. And you'll see, because we have our front fin on, we're able to see it rotate. And this, this is because of our over here in the motion panel, source slash upknown alignment. The source axes, um, you can adjust this by you know selecting Y or Z, you can flip it. And this will determine the rotation at which the bone will flip after the 180 degree mark. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So I turn the view line length off. I just set it to zero. Okay, so we're looking. Okay, now we need to um, adjust our up node. So here you see it says select up node world. We don't want that. We want the bottom control object to be our up node. And what this does is this sort of orientation constrains the bone to this bottom control object. So when we rotate it on this axis, um, it'll rotate. It won't do anything. We rotate this because it's looking at this top control object. 
And one bug that I noted was under the motion panel of our main bone here, look at constraint. This dialog window sometimes disappears after I do this next operation here. Um, you might run into some issues, so you might have to change your source axis stuff before if you want to adjust that before um, you finish the complete setup. But um, normally you can just make your rig and then uh, move the bone and stuff, move your uh, your model around the bone and um, set it up that way. Anyways, select your nub bone, go up to animation constraints, select position constraint, and constrain that to this, to top control object. Okay, one last thing, select your main bone, and we want to link it to the bottom control object. So this will allow us to move this control object, and you'll see we have our squishy bone like this. So what I meant by the rotation flipping, you can see along the Y, yeah, I think it's the Y axis here. We can go all the way 360 degrees and no flipping will occur. But if we go along the Z axis here, whoops, you'll see that after the 180 degrees, it flips. Same over here. So you might have to have your face maybe like facing this way, looking this way, so that your head model or your telephone model can look up and down without any flipping, but say his side to side may be limited to 45 degrees. So that way um, his face will or his head will never go he'll never reach this 180 degree mark because you know he can only bend his neck this far so but the source up note alignment will adjust this um, setting it to Y I think might make it flip over here instead of on this plane so this is stretchy bones um, this is the stretchy bone system.